Hey guys, what's the man in a here? And I'm gonna be showing you how to find, um, well, well, how to install your HUD after the Steam Pipe update. Um, I know many people have been having troubles with this. Um, I know I had. So basically, what you're gonna have to do is go to your finder. Um, go to go if you're using Lion or any other newer ones. Go to <laughs> folder. And I'll put this code, or you can type it in yourself, in the description. Um, you just press go, which will bring you to your TF folder, and your T-Fortress 2, and your, T and your library stuff. Um, then click the custom. <clears throat> Originally, we would all uh, replace resources and scripts files, but when I did it, let's say my thing crashed and I had to um, completely reinstall. But basically, custom, this is where you're going to put everything in. So what you're going to do is... Um, it, you can either make a folder, or if you downloaded it off and um, they already came with a folder, you can just do that. Um, I use Eve HUD, so uh, I'm just going to demonstrate Eve HUD. Hang on, let me find my PV HUD. It should be here somewhere. Uh, PV HUD. So I'll demonstrate both uh, PV HUD and Eve HUD. So PV HUD, uh, when I downloaded it, it just came with resources and scripts. Remember, do not replace... <coughs> Sorry. Um... <coughs> Sorry, my voice is cracking as I'm getting going. But do not replace the resources and scripts files, or else your TF Fortress will crash. All you have to do is just drag PV HUD into a custom folder, and there you have it. That's all you gotta do. But I'm not using PV HUD. I'm gonna I use Eve HUD. If you download Eve HUD, um, you will just unarchive it first of all. So um, I'll show you anyway. Let's just do this, and then you open it up. And you have three folders, Override, Eve HUD, and readme.exe if you want a TXD if you want to do it yourself. So all you have to do is just get Eve HUD, copy it, and paste it into customs. Or drag it, it's your choice. I do um, pasting. I mean, yeah. So that's basically it for um, HUDs. Next thing we're going to move on to is uh, hit sounds. Uh, so you can change your hit sounds whatsoever. I do it all the time. You can make your own hit sound and put in your own folder by putting in uh, any name, even on title form is fine. Uh, sound. Oops, sorry, somebody's talking to me. Um, just ignore that. UI. And then put in. Okay, just. Okay, Jam, I know you're in my video now. Anyway, and then put in the sound you want. Since I used the Quake from the Stars channel. Quake 3 hit sound. Um, I decided to just go with this because I like it. So you gotta hit you rename your style file to quick uh, hit sound dot wave. Copy it and put it in the folders you name. You can even just drag it in because they already give you an outline. Or you can make it yourself. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> uh, you can name it whatever you want. I call it custom. Um, and yeah, that's basically it, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, Hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Peace out, guys.